This is Matthew Cratter from Trader University. And today I want to talk about two cool ways to get more Bitcoin, as well as to generate some Bitcoin reggae or Bitcoin rap song or Bitcoin country song. So be sure to stay tuned for that last thing. First of all, the normal disclaimers, I'm not being paid or otherwise compensated by any of these companies. I'm not affiliated. I haven't actually tried out these products for myself yet but I do plan on doing so. So the first one reminded me of this video that I made just a, about a month ago called a Bitcoin miner in every house and business in which I argued that one way to further decentralize the network is to have a lot more home mining going on. And I made the distinction too that the way we currently do things, the way we heat our homes doesn't make the most sense. So what's really silly is burning electricity or natural gas to create heat directly to heat your house, to heat your furnace, to heat your air or to heat the water in your hot water heater. What would be smarter would be to burn elect electricity or natural gas to mine Bitcoin and then use the resultant waste heat because Bitcoin mining machines, ASICs do produce a lot of waste heat. Use that resultant waste heat to heat your air or the water in your house or building. And what I argued in that video is we shouldn't be working so hard to create disordered thermal energy, in other words, entropy, when the second law of thermodynamics is already ruling us so harshly, what makes more sense is to use the energy to do actual work, in this case, Bitcoin's proof of work, and then also use the resultant heat energy that would other, otherwise be wasted to heat your house. So someone recently brought to my attention a product that does just this. It's a Bitcoin miner space heater, and it looks like it can heat approximately uh, it goes up to 100 to 14 terahashes per second. Power is 1400 watts, and it said it can. It says on the uh, website here that it can heat up to 170 square feet, and that it's actually quite quiet compared to most uh, Bitcoin mining machines. It says less than 42 decibels at full power, probably quieter than your fridge. So this is a great example of what I was talking about in that video. And I think this really is the future where we have multiple appliances in our house, in our houses and buildings that are mining Bitcoin just as a way of generating heat. So I'd encourage you to check out the heat bit. Again, I haven't ordered one, but it does look pretty cool. And I think it's important to support companies that build products like this. You can read more about this. I'll stick a link in the description notes below. The second product is something that looks a lot like Craigslist. Craigslist, of course, is this website, this sort of online classifieds where you can buy and sell items. And this one is called Satscrap, satscrap.com. And you can see here that basically the idea is you just sell stuff that you have laying around and you want to sell it for sats, for for Bitcoin. So you can, you can browse the listings here. The way it works is that you need to put up if you're the seller, you need to put up a listing deposit of 10% of the price just to make sure that you're not uh, listing illegal things or doing any sort of fraud. And then what happens is the only other thing you need as a seller is an email address. You can obviously use a burner email address. You can preserve your privacy. And then what happens is the buyer of these objects, of these, of these products, will provide a shipping address. It says shipping addresses are shared with sellers through a one-time use link generated by privnote.com with explicit instructions to not store the address online. If you're gonna use this, if you're gonna buy a product from this and you need to have something shipped to you, I would recommend using a PO box or a mail forwarding service just because you cannot always trust that these, these instructions will be followed. But for a seller, if you're interested in selling some of the junk you have in your attic or garage, all you really need to provide is an email address and you convert you can convert the stuff in your house to Bitcoin. So I think this is a great idea. This is another way that Bitcoin can be used to sort of clean up our lives, get rid of junk and convert it to the soundest money that's ever been around. The last thing I want to mention in this video is of course the chat GPT app. This is really blowing up on Twitter. Everyone's talking about it. This is put out by a company called openai.com. And what this is, is it's artificial intelligence that can answer your questions and can do some pretty amazing things. So what I'm gonna to do to demo it right here is I, I'm gonna give it the instructions. Basically to sign up for this, you have to give a phone number and email address, and then it lets you use it for free. The instructions that I'm gonna give the AI right now is to write a reggae song about Bitcoin, general relativity, 
and hamburgers. I don't think this has ever been done before. We just click the send and it will be writing it in real time here as we see it. Bitcoin's the currency that we all know. It's decentralized and it's on the go, but it's not just about the money you see, it's about the freedom it can bring. Bitcoin relativity and burgers too, these are the things that we hold true. General relativity, it's a theory that explains how gravity works so clearly. It's the force that keeps us all in line and it's the reason we can't fly. Not the best example, but I do encourage you to try this out. You can ask questions about Bitcoin. You can ask questions really about anything. I think Michael Saylor had the most interesting take here where he asked the AI, what is the Turing test? And of course the Turing test is this series of questions that you give to a machine to try to determine whether it's human or a machine. And Michael Saylor asked the AI, can you pass the test? And the AI replied, no, I cannot pass the Turing test because I am not a machine. Michael Saylor then asked the AI, what are you? And the AI said, I am human. This is pretty interesting. I think there are a lot of implications for stuff like this. I'm still trying to wrap my head around it, but I do encourage you to try this out. This is much, much better than anything you'll ever see on Google. You can really ask it anything. You can ask it to write you a short story. You can ask it to rewrite a song and include Bitcoin in it. I saw someone online had it write, uh, rewrite a uh, the Bohemian Rhapsody and do it, uh, make the song about Bitcoin. So you can do fairly complicated things. I would say that this example wasn't the best. Maybe we should try it again. I woke up this morning and I looked at the news. Bitcoin was rising in general relativity too. Bitcoin, general relativity, hamburgers and fries. I'm living in a world where everything's possible. It's not quite at the level of Keats or Shelley or Shakespeare yet, but I think, or Bob Marley, but I think we will eventually get there. So I encourage you to try out this chat GPT tool. It's very, very interesting, incredibly addictive. My kids have been having a lot of fun with it as well. The only thing I'd be careful of, don't share any personal information with it. Uh, I wouldn't really share your name or anything about any personal information because we don't really know where it is going. And if this AI becomes quite sentient, you don't really want it to know too much about you. If you found this video helpful, helpful be sure to hit that subscribe and like button, especially if, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet. Leave a comment, leave a question, hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when I publish my next video. And let me know your questions and comments, as I said in the, in the, in the comment section below. Thanks all for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.